All right, say that again. What are we looking at, Captain Steve? Well, this is this is a Japanese fishing lure. It's um, basically we call it a lipless crankbait because you crank it and it doesn't really have a lip on it, and they have rattles in them. They Oh good. They make noises. The fish hear that underwater? Yeah they do. Watch out Zach. No, yeah no. they do. <laughs> they they can hear that underwater. They can also feel the vibration. And I think they they more they feel the vibration more than they really hear it. Because that sends out vibration through the water. And what and kind of um, bait are we using today? We're gonna use one that's a little bit easier to use. Now this is a crankbait that has a lip. And one I like to use, it only dives about a foot. And you can see some of these have been eaten quite a bit by the fish. But this one dives about a foot or less, has a little lip on it right there, and it makes it dive and wiggle in the water. And uh, this is actually the, the lure that Levin Reed caught his fish on. Oh, that what kind of fish did he get? Uh, he caught several species. He caught uh, yellow perch and he caught uh, largemouth bass. Okay. And the name of this again is called? This is called, a, uh, generically we call it a crankbait. The, the brand name is it's called a man's baby one minus because it dives a foot or less. Captain Steve, how can we fish with you if we want to come fishing? Uh, go to my website, nationalbass.com. Okay, we'll check in in a little bit.